Hi everyone, Matt here, and today we're gonna to talk about why the DJI Air 3 is such a big deal. Having those extra lenses on a camera drone like the Air 3 is totally game-changing. And while the Air 3 is technically not out yet, we have the Mavic 3 Pro that I can show you basically just how game-changing it is to have extra lenses on a camera drone like the Air 3. So today we're gonna to talk about why it's so amazing to have those extra lenses on a drone like the Air 3 or the Mavic 3 Pro, and I'm just gonna show you what the benefits of having those extra lenses are. So let's get into it. Having a drone with multiple lenses is very useful for many situations. Having the extra lenses allows you to get shots that were not possible when only having one lens. Things like the parallaxing effect, as you see here, everything in the background is brought into the foreground. This is called a parallaxing effect. This lens is about a 70mm equivalent, and I believe this will be the lens that you will get on the DJI Air 3. This is the 166mm equivalent on the DJI Mavic 3 Pro. This is one of my favorite focal lengths. As you can see, it really brings everything from the background into the foreground. You can create a really amazing parallaxing effect with this lens, but it can be a little bit hard to use in some situations. I believe this lens will be the one that's absent from the DJI Air 3. Let me know in the comments which of these two lenses you would prefer on the DJI Air 3. This is the 24mm equivalent Hasselblad camera on the DJI Mavic 3 Pro. Though you won't be receiving the Hasselblad version of this camera, I do believe that you will be getting a 24mm equivalent lens that's made by DJI. When using multiple lenses on a drone, you're able to zoom into your image without losing any clarity like you would with a digital zoom. You are now using an optical zoom, so the image quality lost is next to nothing. These three shots were all shot from the same distance from the cell phone tower. The only difference is the lenses that were used. Hi everyone, we're back in the studio. There's a few things I wanna go over with you on the internet, so let's get into it. As you can see here, we have a really good look at what the camera sensor is going to look like, as well as the different lenses that are gonna be on the DJI Air 3. As I said previously, you're gonna be getting a 70 millimeter equivalent lens with a 2.8 aperture. And you're also going to be getting a 24 millimeter lens with a 1.7 aperture. These two lenses probably look a little bit familiar and I'm going to show you why. As you can see here, the 24 megapixel 1.7 lens as seen on the Mini 3 Pro is the same exact lens that you're going to see on the Air 3. And the 70 millimeter lens that you see on the Air 3 is the 70 millimeter lens that's on the DJI Mavic 3 Pro. It's the 70 millimeter 48 megapixel 2.8 aperture lens. So that's pretty impressive. So that means both the 24 millimeter and the 70 millimeter will be using the 48 megapixel as seen on the Mini 3 Pro and also on the DJI Mavic 3 Pro. Although they won't be using the same sensor, there'll be two separate sensors for the two separate lenses. So that means that the DJI Air 3 is basically like if the Mavic 3 Pro and the DJI Mini 3 Pro had a baby and created the DJI Air 3. It's a pretty impressive drone. I think it's gonna be an amazing drone for a lot of pilots out there. And if you're really looking forward to this drone, let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. I'm gonna be going over some more leaked images that I didn't go over in my last video. And if you haven't watched my last video, I'll be putting a link to it in this video's description. So feel free to watch it if you wanna get some more information on the DJI Air 3. This is a new leaked photo of the DJI Air 3. It looks like it's gonna be a little more shiny than I anticipated originally. So it looks like it's gonna have a bit of a gloss to it, but maybe I'm wrong, what do you guys think? Um, and it does give us a better look at these rear cameras and they are angled pretty sharp. So there is a potential that we're gonna be getting side obstacle avoidance with the DJI Air 3. So that would be really, really helpful for a lot of new pilots. And also just so you don't hit stuff going sideways. Looks like here's just a photo of the ND filters that are gonna be coming with the DJI Air 3. So it looks like it's gonna be coming with an eight ND filter, a 16, a 32, and a 64. Nothing too crazy, but that will be the ND filter kit that comes with the DJI Air 3. Here's a look at the charger that will be coming with the DJI Air 3. It looks like it'll be able to charge three batteries at once, which is pretty awesome. And I don't know what these are for. I guess these are probably to release the batteries from the charger. And it looks like it comes with a USB-C on a side and a power button. So that's kind of cool. 
So this is the gimbal protector for the DJI Air 3. It kind of looks like a cup that you would wear for sports, which is kind of hilarious in its own way. But it looks like on the top, it covers for like the sensors that are on the top and then also the gimbal protector in the middle. So that's a pretty good look at the gimbal protector. Here's a good look of the bottom of the drone. Nothing too crazy here. Everything kind of looks the same. We have the, the light on the bottom and then we have the sensor here in the middle and then two more sensors. So I don't think anything has changed or anything got added on the DJI Air 3 compared to the DJI Air 2S. So this looks very similar to the Air 2S. Not much has changed. So looks like we're getting a close up here of the side of the drone. It says DJI Air 3. Um, so this is a new shot that I haven't seen before. So yeah, I mean, not too much going on here. It just gives you an idea of definitely confirmed it's gonna be called the Air 3, not like the Air 3S or anything like that. Not yet anyway. Um, this is just to confirm the uh, drone's name will be the Air 3. So if you are somebody that has waited for the DJI Air 3 and you haven't purchased both the Mavic 3 Pro and the DJI Mini 3, then the DJI Air 3 is going to be an amazing drone for you and you're gonna love it because that drone is basically some of the best parts of both of these drones and it's gonna be a great deal because you're basically getting two drones for the price of one. All right, so if you like this video, please give me a giant like. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you would like more videos like this one where we talk about drones, photography, videography, anything basically that has to do with the camera. There's gonna be some more drones in the pipeline. We're gonna be testing out some FPV drones and playing around with some FPV stuff. So if FPV is something that interests you, definitely subscribe to the channel because we have some really cool stuff coming up. That's the end of this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.